When was the last time you saw a cop guarding a Starbucks cafe? Insane. Here is one of their bands about to take a victory lap around downtown San Francisco. They own this town. This is Market Street and Powell in downtown San Francisco where the store closures are happening. This corner right here is where the Gap store used to be for years. Now it's shut down. At least you can see some tourists returning to the city, but that's about it. We're walking downtown San Francisco and we're about to explore this new trend. All the stores are closing. People are patiently waiting in line for uh, the cable car to take them up Powell Street. Empty Powell Street, that is. What used to be a lot of retail stores is now just a uh, ghost town. This entire block right here is completely closed. It's just empty front stores as we go up Powell. Every single store in the right hand side has closed. Only right here on the left we have a Sephora store and a Burger King. It's the only two that remain open. Empty cable cars. We are going up on Powell Street to see what's left of what used to be a bustling, busy street. And now it's a ghost town. We have a sneakers store that's still open. And over here we have a uh, swatch store that's still open. After that, the entire block. Empty storefront, nothing, all vacant. It's the sign of e-commerce victory I guess all that lobbying paid off. Right here we have retail for lease. Huge storefront, empty. I don't know if this used to be like a Ross store or a Marshall. Gone. I see a pharmacy, a Walgreens. That's open. I'm surprised that's open. Let's see if it's still open. Yeah, it is open. Cool. Over there in the corner we have another empty store. It is really dead over here. Right here we have a zombie in the middle of the street. Place is closed. Uh, now we got two O'Farrell. Right here in the corner. Yeah, this is open. It's a hot store. Is it open? Yeah, it's open. They have a car at the door. We got a Starbucks here. I think that's open. See that? The floor is empty as well. Here we have the Sam's Cable Car Lounge. That's open. It says we need your support. You're gonna need a lot of support. This right here is up, I mean close. Retail for lease, 27 square feet. Five years ago, this we, this, all these streets were crowded with people. Those days are gone. One way to deter all this crime in the city, not to stop it, is to have all these police officers stationed here. There's uh, four patrol cars parked right here outside of the stores and this uh, mobile command. 
unit right here and that little golf cart too these are all cops that stationed inside the stores just to deter the uh, crime that's going on here in downtown I think it's the only way I think it works it deters it but it doesn't end it all these cops working on the stores when, they, when it's uh, break time they come to this unit right here and take a nap and that's how they make their money too this is downtown San Francisco where a lot of retail space is just vacant a lot of stores are closing their doors it's due to the high crime and the victory of the e-commerce they are really winning this war and as you can see there are a little bit more tourists now but you can see only the big stores are left like this uh, Louis Vuitton let me show you there's a Louis Vuitton right there but if you see right there on the corner there's a cop that right there is a cop sitting on a hydrant this is probably his patrol car right here that is the only way to deter crime and it's also there's an armed guard right in front of the store and on a side note joining the store closures the hotels are also shutting down hotels that have been here in downtown area for decades are now closing that's the end of the video it's uncertain what's gonna happen in San Francisco only time will tell and maybe will be on my next video see you next time